Chris the Rock here with Simpson Math. Let's use some witchcraft. Leviosa. So one of the things you have to be good at is solving inequalities if you want to be able to recognize the domain of functions, as one of your videos this week will show. So we need to be able to solve inequalities. Here's an inequality. Now, the way I'm going to handle it, if, if I have a polynomial over here, is for sure get a deep one side to be zero. So the very first thing I do is set this over here. So we have a plus eight now, and we have a zero on this side. <clears throat> and I'm going to return to this in a minute. We're going to write the solution here. But notice what we have is a polynomial, and we have it greater than zero. So that means we want to know when is this polynomial have outputs that are larger than zero. And uh, we're very good at graphing polynomials, so we'll graph this thing. Now, to graph it, we find the roots. Our algorithm for finding the roots, our preferred algorithm, is synthetic division. But wait a minute, we have our witchcraft. These are the coefficients. If the coefficients add to zero, then we know one is a root. One and four is five. Five and a negative three is two. Two and a negative 10 is a negative eight. Plus eight is zero. Whenever these add up to zero, you know one is a root, so we'll use one. Let's see, 1 times 1 is 1, you add here, you get 5, 1 times 5 is 5, you add here, you get 2, 1 times 2 is 2, we add here, you get negative 8, because of the negative 10, 1 times a negative 8 is a negative 8, and we get 0, sure enough, it worked, so 1 is a root. Let's see if it's a double root, 1 and 5 is 6, 6 and 2 is 8, 8 and a negative 8 is 0, so we know 1's going to work again, because they added to 0, so we'll do 1 again, so we have 1, 1 times 1 is 1, we add here, we get 6, uh, let's see, uh, 5 and 1 is 6, so 1 times 6 is 6. So we add, we get 8. 1 times 8 is 8. We get 0. Now, this is just, this represents x squared plus 6x plus 8. So at this point, it might be easier just to factor than to find the other roots. Uh, and they are x plus 2 and x plus 4. So the roots are negative 2 and x equals negative 4. But don't forget also that we had x equals 1 and it worked twice. So it's a double root. And we can, once you have the roots, it's pretty easy to generate a soft, I mean, a rough sketch of the uh, polynomial. So let's get a rough sketch of the polynomial next. So remember there were roots at negative 4. Now let's put a scale on here. Let's go by 1s and 1s. So negative 4 is over here. Negative 2 is here. They were both roots. 1 was a root. It's a leading coefficient is 1, so it rises on the right. But the degree is even, so it does the same on the left. So it must be coming up. But 1 was a double root, so I know it turns around here. The coefficient... The constant was 8, so it's going to cross at 8. Let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's going to cross through there. It's got to turn around somewhere to get here, right? It's got to be, so it's got to, I don't know where. Maybe it turned around sooner. I don't know, but it turns around somewhere to get here. So this was not a double root. Uh, so it's going to cut through. And it's got to turn around to get back through here, and then it's going to go up. So there's our nice graph. But remember, we wanted to use this to find the solution to this inequality here, which is the same as the solution set to that inequality. So we want to find where the polynomial is greater than 0. So we're going to look and see for what x values is the polynomial above the x-axis. Well, for x values greater than 1. But wait a minute. Also, for x values between negative 2 and 1. In here, it's also above. And also before negative 4. Anywhere out here. Let's see if we can write that. So it's from negative infinity to negative 4, not including negative 4. Negative 4 is 0. And this is greater than zero, not equal to zero. So it's not including negative four. Then from negative two to one, and it's not including one or negative two because that's where it's zero, but then from one to infinity. So this is the solution set to this inequality here. So X is an element of negative infinity 
2, negative 4, union negative 2 to 1, union 1 to infinity. And there we used our witchcraft factory. Math made simple, Simpson math.